Don't be scared, girls. You came in here with courage. Keep up with that courage. You got this. What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across girls, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to how a realist here rebuilt the kingdom part two. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got channel membership, Patreon, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to how a realist here rebuilt the kingdom part two, episode 18. Second queen and concert have been settled. Mm. Yeah, girl, how you feel? Stung a little. Not surprised. You seem a little possessive of him. I don't think it's sunken yet for her that Duke Carmine died. Yeah, she has options, right? Oh, so Alicia understands what, what Carmine was doing. You can contribute, be the new generation. Soma looks so kingly in that uniform. He looks so good. I think the Duke is going to get executed, but not his daughter. Oh, is she defending them because she's related?
The Soma sound different. He sounds older. Yeah, save your daughter. Mm hmm. It seems like this family is led by their feelings and loyalty. not has it not been decided like it's pretty obvious what they're guilty of oh is someone laughing at him jabana Sounds something from Star Wars. Then how should they be punished? Hmm, that's true. If Vargas has been leading the Air Force for that long, that's going to be really big shoes to fill. That was my first thought, like, setting as example. Those two people complicated things. They had good points. Maybe not him, but the other guy did. Jabana. Character. It's, it's not about character personality. It's about what they did. What's done is done. And there needs to be consequences. Oh! What? What? Holy cow! We killed the two guys that spoke out! By like assassin like people! What the heck? Are those the snakes we were talking about? Whoa. We're reusing this trial to weed out the snakes? They were skilled in employing cruelties. It is better for a ruler to be feared than love. Hmm. 
Oh, didn't we talk about this in part one? Do the cruelties all at once? Oh, one's own allies. <gasps> whoa! Whoa! Was it everyone? Every... Everyone except for two? Oh, I thought it was those two. Holy cow! Oh, even the girls didn't know about these guys. You look different. Have we met you before? <gasps> oh! Really die? Or did he? Oh, this! Oh, this is giving me hope, yo. Okay, if that mouth doesn't move, it's a mask, a helmet, a headdress, whatever. Oh. Why were they saved? Yeah, can you explain? Wow. He literally did like a cleanse. Wow. Girls, he's thinking about you guys too. Mm hmm. Let your heart flutter. Yeah, why were they saved? Yes, please explain! That ended with the current generation? Wow, I really thought they were the ones who got killed in the beginning. Dang. <laughs> He's so honest, like they said.
Uh, yeah, he's been thinking really far. I think Soma has to. He has to think that far ahead. What's gonna happen? Oh, my heart goes out to him. <gasps> Acknowledge his accomplishments? Wow! Oh, she was helping now because they're family. Oh, yes, 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 yes. What's gonna happen to her? Oh? Is Carla gonna be like a be part of the Forbidden Army too? Oh, that sounds so desperate. A slave? Grandma, what do you think about this? Your granddaughter's a slave now. Ooh, that's a hard role. Killing the ruler. Ooh. Especially if he was a good ruler. I wonder if that's going to start like a tradition in this kingdom. Or there's always going to be someone who's going to watch over the monarchy to see if they... Run astray. Oh, but if she can live a long time, she can do that for every generation. Ooh, that life sentence. She's going to be like the ruler's judge. But yeah, he... That's a really good uh, comparison, Aisha. Make them forget about it. What you gonna do to make them forget about it? She's blushing! It seems like something only them two can do! Oh dear.
Oh, his, his bed is next to his desk, though. <laughs> They're wearing robes! They're not wearing pants! What? Don't be scared, girls! You came in here with courage! Keep up with that courage! You got this! Man, we went from like serious dark to humor lightheartedness. Forget, trying to make them forget what Savasu. You're free to do whatever you want with us. I thought there's supposed to be a system here, some ritual. Um, you know, there's some steps. Everyone gets a 101 chance turn. This is reminding me of Tsukimichi. <laughs> you always have... think you have a pretty good idea. And then someone just blows your mind. Oh, so cute, she's pushing her lips. Oh, Is he feeling touched? Is his eyes getting watery? Oh, he said this sure is warm. Oh, He needed this. This really helped him forget. Ooh, it seems like something's gonna happen in Amadonia. Or in the Principality. Yes, he is the complete of your father. The greatest gamble of her life? What's the gamble? Girl, what you gonna do? But seriously, what is a raccoon chick going to do? Yes, I'm going to call her raccoon because she had that raccoon thing when she left that little picture no for a hawk. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she's a, she's a raccoon chick to me. All right. All right. Besides that, <laughs> uh, this was a really good episode just to show how hard, well, not hard, like the tough decisions. I want to say the tough decisions that Soma has to make and the reality of how things are and how far ahead you need to think, especially when it's like post-battle, post-war, you just acquired a kingdom you're trying to assert to your rule there's a lot of things that need to be considered and a lot of steps taken and wow this was a really good episode to really showcase how soma has been looking into things like that scene in the beginning where he says kill them i love how 
this episode showcased two guys that spoke out. You totally thought it was them that, that were going to get killed. You're like, what the fudge? What? Just because they outspoke? What? And, and then, like, they show everybody else dead. And it's like, so much. Did you kill all of them? Like, all of the people that were there. And left um, Castor and Carla alive. But then it turns out he left the two people who out who spoke out alive and everybody else died. And finally, they kind of dragged it on. But finally, they explained why. And it's like, oh gosh. I thought the nobles that were uh, canoodling with the enemies were already purged out with Carmine. Like, that's why he sacrificed himself, right? He kind of pulled all of them. The ones that were rebelling against Soma and such. I thought those were all the nobles that got purged out. But it turns out there's more. the more sneaky ones. And Soma with Hakia were able to kind of like snuff them out. And it's like that trial was just to put them all in one place. And then execution. It's literally... He Soma literally did the cruelties all at once, all in one day. I mean, even with Castor and Carla, and maybe the Carmine one was the day before or the morning, but jeez, and okay, that Forbidden Army, that person in the mask, that beast man, that look feline, the one with like the white fur, okay. Militia was like, Carmine, and then Soma's like, <laughs> it's like, yo. Was that death? Not really a death? Where did we call it on the last episode when we saw Carmi take that little potion thingy majiggy? <laughs> but my thoughts are like, is that Carmine's fur dyed, bleached? Or is that a mask? Because that means that would be a mask on a mask because he was wearing a mask covering his eyes and whatnot. But then there's that head that's not really moving its lips, you know? Hmm. So let's be, would it be a snout? Mouth? Whatever's. And then, after all that dark stuff, you know, seriousness, that, oh my god. We got Alicia and Aisha trying to make Soma feel better. And it seemed like they were going to do some nightly service. But they just ended up laying in bed with him giving him warmth, and I think this really solidified Soma's resolve because he explained that he, in the future, he didn't want to have regrets if Aisha, Alicia, Juna, everybody else that are close to him ever get hurt because he didn't kill off these nobles, these people that were poisoned within the kingdom. If they ever got hurt and he had regrets, he didn't want to have that thought, I should have killed him back then. But even though he was justifying what he was doing, he still questioned his humanity and such. And when he was by himself in the bedroom, he had all these dark thoughts. He was like, oh man, I know what I did was harsh, but I had to, but... And he kept second-guessing himself, right? Then Lisha and Aisha came in and kind of made him forget about it. But then he's still like in his slumps. Though when they were laying in bed and he felt the warmth. He's there together with them. Something that can continue on in the future. Knowing that they'll be safe and they can still lay in bed together in the future where they're safe. Kind of resolves everything. Like yeah, this was worth it. Having this warmness. Uh, family was worth it. So I, I like that. I really like that. But besides my thoughts, you know, my little recap. <laughs> what did you think about this episode? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel, reacting to how I realized here rebuilt the kingdom episode 18. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one.
Laters.